Welcome to our how-to. What we're going to look at today is the figure of eight test. I've got here a simulated ring main. I've omitted the CPC for clarity. I have my outgoing neutral and line, and then my incoming neutral and line, just labeled up. Socket one, I've replaced the socket with connector blocks, but essentially that's what you've got when you check your two pins. So line and neutral, socket outlet two, same again, simply replace the socket with the connector blocks and then our incoming or return line and neutral. Now you'll know the figure of eight. You connect your outgoing line to your incoming neutral. And we connect outgoing neutral to incoming line. It. So essentially what we have here is what we call our figure of eight, where they cross over. So incoming neutral, outgoing line, all the way round to the outgoing neutral. Now I'm going to lift the neutral out, not I'm doing anything, just lifting it out. Because what I want to just show you is the figure of eight. That's your figure of eight. So start from outgoing line, incoming line, outgoing neutral, incoming neutral, and back again. Now, we're gonna do one more thing. No magic, no smoke, no mirrors. What I'm gonna do is unwind this. So I've not changed anything. Now, can you see what we've got now? we have a perfect circle of conductor. And it says, this is the secret of this figure of eight testing. This is my distribution ball point. Yeah, so outgoing line, incoming line, and vice versa. I have my line conductor, and I have my neutral conductor. This is my distribution board, there to there. My meter is sending a current around two paths through the line and through the neutral, giving me a reading of resistance. Now you already know those two are the same length, it's a ring main, those two are the same cross-sectional area, therefore both halves will have the same resistance. So I have a resistance of my line in parallel with the resistance of my neutral. They're both the same value. You know what the secret is when you've got two resistors of the same value in parallel. You simply divide the resistance value by the number of resistors. For instance, if that was 0.1 of an ohm and that was 0.1 of an ohm, divide them by two, red resistance would be 0.05 ohms. Now, Socket outlet one is at this point, third of the way along that conductor. The corresponding neutral for socket outlet one is over here. A third of the way of the outgoing from the distribution point. So I have from here, one third, two thirds. One third, two thirds. One third plus two thirds is equal to two thirds plus one third is equal to one whole. So in other words, resistance there and there is the same. They're in parallel, same result. Socket outlet two, there. I'll find my corresponding neutral, the opposite end of the circle. I know it's a squared one, but it's a circle. We have, again, a measurement. Two thirds, one third, two thirds, one third. Same value, same resistance, in parallel, red resistance is half. And you'll find that at each and every point on your circuit. Obviously when you're using twin and earth, the circuit protective conductor, the CPC, is slightly smaller. So you will get slightly distorted measurements. However, they should all be about the same and what you'll find is that at your furthest socket, you get 
your maximum resistance, and that is your R1 plus R2. What I have here, R1, Rn, so R1 plus Rn divided by, that's for us to work out. Is it two, is it four? Thanks for watching, hope this has helped.